Hey, he's risen indeed. He's risen. Yes, risen. yes, he's risen, he's risen, he's risen. What a great day, what a great day again to see you and to be in your houses. What a day, what a mighty God, what a God we trust. He's able to do awesome things. And there's only one good news is from Jesus of Nazareth. He's still alive, he's still alive, he's still alive. And I ask my sister Abina to just pray because we are all very colorful today because he is indeed risen. Yes. Thank you, Master. Indeed you are risen, Father. Indeed you are risen. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. He is our good shepherd. He paid his ransom for this mankind. Yes. Yes, Father. This is the day, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank Master. You, Thank you, you Master, for everything you're Father. doing in our life, Father. Yes. Father, Thank you, you Father. are a good shepherd, Master. You gave, Father. Well, yes, you yes. gave your life, Master God. Yes. Father, this is yes. Thank today. You, Jesus. We pray for all those people who ask us to pray, Master. Yes. We yes. bring them all to you, dear God. You said my sheep will hear my voice hallelujah yes and i will hear them yes and i'll carry them on my shoulder thank you father thank, thank you for you carrying Jesus. our pain thank our you, suffering yes. everything dear god on yes. your back thank you at this moment we pray for all those people that we promised master every people father who ask us to pray yes we bring around them all the to you yes. father the world. you yes, bless father, them beyond thank master you. Pray for all the persecuted brothers and sisters around the world because they are Christians, Father. We pray for those families, Father. Martyrs, Martyrs, family. Martyrs yes. family. We bring you, them all Thank to you, you dear Jesus. God. Thank you, Master. What a day. What a blessing what to be blessing. in your presence, Father. What a blessing. Father, what a we blessing. bring all our friends, our families, our relations, every viewers around the world who is watching this telecast, Father. The we Thank bring you, them all Jesus. to you, dear God. Thank you, Father. As my brother is going to speak your word, Father. Yes. Let your presence be upon all of us, Father. Use my brother in a special way, Father. Let every word come from his mouth. Bless you the founder speak of through the him, Bless. Father. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for Dr. Joseph Nasrallah. In a very special way, yes. In Thank a special you, way, and Dr. Joseph and the staff here, Yes. Audience here and around the world, Father, thank we you, bring Jesus. them all to you, dear God. I offer all this petition and thanksgiving in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We are again back to color. You can see the rainbow colors around us. That symbolizes the glorious, victorious Christ is still very colorful indeed. That means he's telling, don't be afraid. The first word after the resurrection, he said, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Because the disciples who followed him all through, they were terrified, horrified of the situation. As you, last time you heard about, you know, the sea that crushed the ear of the serpent. Yes. The sea that crushed the ear of the serpent. Yes. And the seed is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. It has been foretold uh, through every prophet, every, every prophet in the Old Testament, every song that is spoken about him, the, the books, the historical books, Jesus tried to reveal this secrets to his followers. To affirm that it is him. It is whom the prophet spoke about. But because just now we just, I think, uh, we've been hearing this. And the Lord gave those amazing words. You know, when the Lord appeared to Moses. And later on, as you know, that he, when he gave, when he presented the uh, Ten Commandments. In that mountain, when the people were literally, they are afraid, they cannot handle it. They were terrified and horrified to see the fire, the consuming fire of God. So, you know, people were saying, Moses, Moses, we can't handle this. We can't handle 
We can't come near that mountain. It is blazing. And God said, go tell them, tell them. I will send a prophet like you, Moses. Yes. And they have to listen to him. Yes. So if you listen to him, dear friends, Deuteronomy chapter 18, yes. verse one verse, if you, if she look and read that word, chapter 18, verse uh, 15, maybe, yeah. Because that particular word says, you know, people doesn't want to see the scary. I mean, God is awesome. Yes. And nobody can see him and live. And that's why, you know, the God from God, light from light, I showed up to show the power and awesomeness of God. That's the second Trinity God. That is Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. And listen what Moses was saying in the Torah, the five books of the Old Testament. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, own brothers. You must listen to them. Well, you have to listen. Yes. And you know, if you go back, because of my time constraint, I can go to the Bible, but I can tell you, please jot down everything that I tell you, my brothers and sisters, because it is very important, you know, you need to check what I say. People can say everything. And you know, you need, you need to measure through this measuring rod the Lord has given. You have been given this awesome word of God. And that's why, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, after the resurrection, is pointing out to Luke chapter 24. And if you read verse 44, and you get a chance to read, okay, you can read it. And it says, Jesus literally expound the scriptures. Yes. He's an expositor. He was telling, you know, about, they were, you know, these two, two followers, they were disgruntled, disappointed. And now they're on the way and Jesus enters into their conversation yes. and they couldn't, he says, like they couldn't really hit them, hit them from knowing who he is. But as they were started engaging in the conversation, my dear brothers and sisters, it is in Luke chapter 24, Please read it from 40 to 44, 45. And it speaks about, Jesus says, the prophet spoke about him. The historical book spoke about him. And the poetical book spoke about him. And the prophets of the minor and the major prophets, like, you know, the major prophets like Ezekiel. Who do you know there? Come on, come on. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah. There's a lot of major prophets and there's uh, minor prophets too. But every one of them yes. uh, spoke about Jesus Christ. What is going to accomplish for you and me? That is the ultimate goal. So when God called Abraham from Iraq, you know that he came from her of Chaldee, what is going on today, in, you know, in that particular place. Yes. Again, we are seeing back to the square one. The same thing, enemy is bombarding those people. Those Iraqi people, the Christian people have been bombarded yes. and massacred everywhere. Yes, today we heard about the genocide, you know, in Armenia and today there was a big march going on here. Yes. But you know what? After 100 years, we recognize them. But today, you know, don't allow another genocide, my brothers and sisters. Yes. We need to rise up. Yes. See, when God called Abraham from the Chaldea of her, and then, you know, he said he moved him. Yes. Almost it's 500 miles in the land of, in Turkey, Haran, the current modern day Turkey. Again, God's plan doesn't start from Iraq to Turkey, yes. but his biggest plan is to take him all the way to the Canaan. That is the promised land, yes. which is the modern 
Israel. So look at the transition, dear brothers and sisters. Look at the transition. Yes. God wants him to go all the way yes. to the land that he promised. Yes, well, we know God's greatest plan. He said, uh, Abraham, he made him very wealthy. He become very rich. He heaped all the treasures. But God never gave a posterity. You may ask why? Why God didn't do that? Because he's old? Doesn't matter whether you're old or young. Doesn't matter. God wants to reveal his plan all the time. And if you really look at Genesis chapter 15. God's amazing plan. He reveals to Abraham. And remember in chapter 15 verse 1, 2, 3. If you keep reading it. God says come on in. Come on in Abraham. Look at the stars. Look at the stars. They're going to teach you. Dear people, you have to understand, we never had the Holy Bible like this on those days. It took a very long time to process. Yes. It took, a, after Moses, this is, I'm talking about 4,000 year story. Okay? 1,000 years later, Moses came on the scene, and then, you know, they invented the tablets. But prior to that, you know, the heavenly tablet, God spoke through the sky. And he says, look at the stars. Can you count them? And he taught something about it. About it. And he says, your generation and your ancestors and your offspring will be like this one day. Because the entire universe one day will be blessed through this one offspring, with, which is Jesus Christ. So that's what Galatians chapter 3, you know, if you could read it, 27, 28, 29, you can see through Abraham. But you know, when he showed the stars, what, what do you think God taught him? He taught him about the, the 12 zodiac sign. The zodiac sign. Yes. Many people are very interested in that, right? Many Westerners are go crazy for this. Horoscope, all this, you know, you read the planets. Yes. And you know, you wanted to start your life with your horoscope reading every day. I know many, many folks are doing this. Yes. You want to be rich. Mm -hmm. you, you believe in the astrology. You believe in medium. Yes. Mm -hmm. You believe in every pagan practices in the world. And you know, these are all the things that I saw when I was growing up in India. But you know, now it is so prevalent in not only America, anywhere around the world, especially in the Western country. So if, if you could read this word, yes. uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18, and verses 9, 10, and 11. And uh, you know, listen what God is saying to you. Yes. Prior to that, Sheila read that word. I don't know whether she did. She, did you read that word? Yes. No. Yeah. Okay, prior to that, you know, through that prophet, through the prophet, you ought to listen. Yes. And look what the Lord is saying, what the Lord God, the Yahweh God is telling you and me. Mm. Can you please read it? Shall when you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or <laughs> casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the oh, Lord. Detestable. Yes. Because these detestable practices the Lord your God will drive you out of the nation before you. Wow, wow, wow. This is the same God who promised Moses that he is going to send an angel before him to lead them. 
to drive all the wicked nation around them and he warned them you cannot practice the pagan practices of this nation yes, yes. and what if we do it sir mm -hmm. and he says i will spew you out of this land so that means you will be like james chapter 1 verse 5 to 8 it says you will be like a wave battered all the time mm -hmm. why do you think people are restless here we achieved everything mm -hmm. we have money in the wealth the man the notoriety you name it everything you know people in in the developing countries like this they already seen everything they reached the corporate ladder but why do you think they're still restless yes mm -hmm. because they're not restless because they never heed to the only one voice that is still caring for you. Yes. He says, come to me, you, all those who are heavily burdened. Amen. So that the prophet God was talking about, you and me. The only prophet, there's a lot of false prophets. Matthew talks about it, chapter 24. There'll be a lot of too many false prophets. You can't listen to everyone because this is exactly what you are being presented to. And the people, the Israelite people, God took them out of Egypt. You all know that. Then later on, you know what happened? Can, can Sheila go, go to 2 Kings chapter 23, verse one, 5? One verse. See, now the Judah. And now this is the nation that God has really planned through Abraham. This is now, they're all in the land. And you see how this land is polluted now. And just because of that, I know what God did it because God said it to, through Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Please read it. <clears throat> there is blessing from 1 to 14 if you listen and obey God Almighty. Yes. And if you don't do it, God says there is from 14 hours until 64, what is that? The curses, the curses, the curses. What are the curse? I will throw you out, out. of your land. Yes. 2,500 years, our Jewish brothers and sisters were scattered all around the world. You all know that. Yes. So I'm telling you, my dear brothers and sisters, we in America, see, we are going back. We are going backward. And it's time for us. The resurrected Lord is still is talking to you and me. Yes. And please listen. 2nd King chapter 23 verse 5. This is a king that is in Judah. In Israel. Look at what, what all the practices they practice in spite of this warning through Moses and the prophets. Yes. He did away the pagan priest anointed by the kings of Judah right. to burn incense on the high places of the towns of Judah and those around Jerusalem, those who burn incense, well, to the sun and moon, to the constellations, and to all the starry hosts. Oh, 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 oh. He took the Asherah pole from the temple of the Lord to Kidron Valley mm. outside Jerusalem and burned it there. He ground it to powder and scattered the dust over the graves of the common people this is what king josiah did yeah. the land is so polluted whatever god said you cannot do it they did yes and we are going on the same path my dear brothers and sisters yes. we are going on the same path and you know unless we repent yeah. unless we change the way we live unless we turn our evil ways, yes. the perennial ways, and follow the directions. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we are going nowhere. I challenge you again. God is very merciful. He is slow to anger. Yes. At the same time, He is a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. People are telling me, no, He is not. He is a love. God is love. God, is Yes, of course. Yes. But if you really see Hebrews chapter 12, the last verse, it may be just from 20, the last verse, 22, 23, and you can read it. The last word of the Hebrew chapter 12 is God was again repeating that he's still the same consuming fire 
because the same fire that he brought in the Mount Sinai and he said now it's waiting for you in Hebrew chapter 12 you can read it from 16 onwards because his son is the ultimate sacrifice for you and me the only one that he can give from the heaven he emptied the heaven by giving his only one begotten son. The Lord from Lord and light from light. And if you despise it, if I despise it, there is no other choice for you. There is no other choice for you. That's why he says it's not about the blood of Abel. It's not about the blood of all these many great men and women who shed their blood. It's not about the animal's blood God talks about in Hebrews chapter 9 and 10. But the ultimate blood sacrifice is mentioned again in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16 onwards, because he was presenting the Mount Zion that cannot be shaken. Every other thing will be shaken. Yes. Everything in the world will be shaken all around us, as we see. But the only thing cannot be shaken is the mountain of Jesus Christ. The Zion cannot be moved. The Zion will never be moved. Yet every other mountain was shaking today. There is a mountain erupt already in Chile. Yes. It's already there. Everything is there. Everything is the Lord predicted. Because the moment you are trying to put so much efforts to find God through sun and the moon and the stars, it's dangerous. Yes. It's dangerous. Thank you. you talk about the four blood moon. So, what God is talking about? It's about, the, it's about the whole zodiac, my brothers and sisters. Yes. You know, the first sign of the zodiac is a Virgo. It's a virgin. Yes. I can't go into all the details. What is the last sign of the zodiac? It's a Leo. Yes. It's a virgin and the Leo. In Egypt, you can see the Sphinx in Giza. It is the woman's head. And the body of uh, the lion. Why? It's all about the birth of Jesus. Jesus. The Jesus. Jesus' yeah. birth and death and the resurrection. That is the billboard. If you don't understand that the salvation plan is over. Yes. Whether you see the sky or whether you see the temple. Whether you see the church. That is the final reality. What God can do for you and me. And we look for something more, then the, that means you are, you are going with John the Baptist. Do we have to look for more? Yes. Do we have to look for more? Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Yes. You are the Lamb of God. That's what I believe. Yes. I was anointed when I told you this is the Lamb of God. Do I have to lay because he is under pre uh, pressure? He is in the prison? My dear brothers and sisters, it's not going to work. Yes. It is the Christ, the Christ. ultimate sacrifice of Christ. Christ. You can go around, talk about the stars and the moon and the suns. You can keep talking and you know, only you're allowing others to fill their pockets. Yes. Empty your heart. There's so much pollution inside of you. The Lord should throw this out because your heart is wicked. That's yes. exactly what the Lord is saying. In Mark chapter 7, verse 21 and 22. Behold, I'm knocking at the door. Yes. The Lord Jesus is saying through those airways, yes. the way TV, you know, yes. the Lord is speaking to you, my brothers and sisters. You don't have to put a big cheer out to me. Yes. We are not here for your accolades. We want to give you the message so just, you know, you and I will reach the potential where the Lord has really wanted us. Yes. It is not what Abraham received all the blessing in this world but his final blessing is spoke you know in hebrew chapter 11 verse 16 20 and chapter 12 he was looking for a place that cannot be founded by human beings yeah. the eternal dwelling that's where you and i belong we're all in the transition i started somewhere in india here i live in america doesn't mean that i am well grounded yes i'm grounded in this country but we are all looking for the higher calling yes. and the revelation chapter 4 verse 1 to 4 says come up come up higher yes before we are already going through the tribulation yes. 
my dear brothers and sisters the tribulation is already here we will never run away from this all the brothers and sisters around the world are shedding their blood already yes, christian Lord. blood yes. christian brothers and sisters yes, yes. so john chapter 16 please read it verse 1 2 3 in the name of God, they will shed their blood. Yes. This is the day we are in. Yes, Chapter 16, verse 33. Yes, Tribulation, trials are imminent. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father. Trials imminent. Therefore, the Lord says, repent, repent. repent and turn to him. Listen to him. Yes. He is everything, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes. He says, blessed Abraham. You know, Jesus was saying, blessed are those who hear me and see me. Yes. Many kings longed to see and they were failed miserably. In chapter 10, please read it. Chapter 10 of Luke, verses 24. Many kings desire. Yes. First Peter chapter 2. Many great kings desire to see him. They cannot. How blessed are you to hear me this? How blessed are you guys to hear me and see. That's exactly what Christ said. There is no other choice. This is the only name that he is sending to the whole world. If you have to go much deeper, when you see all these things, you have to go deeper and deeper and deeper in knowing everything should evolve around Jesus Christ. Your life, your health, your profession, Whatever you do, whatever you do, everything, your health is totally evolved around him because he is a great physician. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, my time is gone and we are so happy to really share with you. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of great things that are happening. Please listen to Sheila. And she's saying, you know, wow, please, we all need that. Yes. We need your prayers. Yes. And we need you too, your support yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning in to our program. Thank you for watching this powerful message you heard. Yes. How Father. blessed we are to hear this powerful message. Please continue to spend, send your prayer request and yes. praise report, as well as please send us your loving uh, gift offering for us yes. so that we could take the gospel yeah, to right. the unreached uh, and yes. troublesome World. Absolutely, and yes. And please support our ministry. Yes. And may the Lord bless you richly. And see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye.